if you meet someone who says, hey, I identify as a Hebrew Israelite, and you start coming at them with, oh, you believe that they may not believe that at all. They may think that's very wrong. And so you've simply got to ask them where they're at with this because they could have the bare bones Hebrew Israelite theology, meaning they buy the version of history that says if you came over here via the transatlantic slave trade, you are physical descendant from Abraham. That may be all they buy. see the racket y'all don't see what's going on here oh god my people i don't understand y'all y'all don't so some of you know you've been baptized 26 times two times three times four times 50 times you've been baptized in water and yet this and guess what you're still not wearing fringes you're still not keeping the commandments on the outside or the inside wow that's all i have to say to you brothers and sisters i pray you hang in He was the first born of every creature and after he was created and after he was created and after he was created he left all things in his hands christ to make everything else and the head of christ is god and the head of christ is god so are god and christ equal are they the same being no Bring it out and the word was god the same was in the beginning with god you heard it and the word was god that's what confused y'all Christ is God. The Lord is his heavenly father. Is God Almighty. For real. That's what confuses you. That's why when Paul says many things called God. Guess who else God? Guess who else is God up in this job? We God. It's time for us to come back to who we are. We are gods. You damn right, we are gods. But we're going to die like men if we don't come back to keeping these laws. Yes. It's when you go to the book of Joshua chapter 1 and 8, it tells you the book of the law. So what were they rejecting? The Bible. That's what the Holy Ghost is. That have received the law. The law is the Holy Ghost. That's right. Christmas and Virgin, Christ born of the Virgin Mary of the Holy Ghost, as we will see. That's what they say, or the immaculate, immaculate deception. You are being deceived. It's not of God. That you have been lied to, and that Christ was not born immaculate, and that he was born through sex. So we're going to prove according to the scriptures, thus saith the Lord, not what we feel, not what we think, straight from the Bible, that Christ was made under the law. The law of what? Of, of, of a husband and a man and a woman coming together and having sex. He came from immaculate conception. That's what they said in the church. He don't have an earth quarter, so he cannot change his genealogy. But we all up. Give him what you want. Come on, watch this. Right? I know most people, when we hear the words immaculate conception, what's the first thing we think about? Somebody tell me, what, what's, what is that attached to? Get it, brother, the mic. Um, the virgin birth of Christ. The virgin birth of Christ. But actually, that's not what 
the Roman Catholics mean when they say Immaculate Conception, they're not talking about the virgin birth of Christ. They're talking about the Immaculate Conception of Mary. Mary the Virgin, from the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. Distinctive Roman Catholic doctrines. Of Nazareth, the son of Joseph, the son of Joseph. You've been indoctrinated with that immaculate conception doctrine right. that we already admit to you. It's a Roman Catholic doctrine. Yes, gospel means good news. What's the good news, brothers? Shalom, nigga. Hey, shalom. Uh, the good news is that the kingdom is for Israel. That the kingdom is for Israel. Uh, be a little bit more specific, James. Just okay. a little bit more. So what is the gospel? The gospel is the law of God. That's the gospel. Coupled with faith in Christ. That's the gospel. Uh, the kingdom is only for Israel. That's true. I agree with that, 100%. Uh, I'll give you one more try. The gospel is the good tidings that you can repent. We are the Israelites. Let's move on. Let's... The good news is that the kingdom is only for Israel and our oppressors are going to be our uh, slaves. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so that was that's good. We'll go with that and uh, get a better understanding. As well. Okay, we have to remember the gospel. The good news is that we are going to be saved from our enemies. So it was good news that God loved us so much that he sent his only begotten son so that whoever believeth on him shall have eternal life. Okay, because the Christians like to quote John chapter 3, 16. When the world he was talking about was the world of Israel. It wasn't the world, the whole planet. Why would you not answer a question? Why are you instructed and commanded to not answer a question? It's a simple question. Acts 17.30. Notice, I come down here, you leave and go the other way. How is this masculine when you won't answer a question? You will only talk to women and children and you ignore a man standing before you. How is that masculine? You'll talk to folks who don't know the scriptures, but you won't speak with me. Why? You can see it right on their website, israelunite.org, and you'll see what's up. There they are looking through the blinds. Look, they're looking through the blinds. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, wow, he's really looking through the blinds there. <laughs> see these two dudes over there? They just called the cops on me. I've got the audio. I didn't have video for that time. I went over there to talk to them and tell people to not take their stuff. Within one minute, they called a cop over and said I was trying to start a fight with them and said, officer, he told me I was in a cult. The officer basically took their side, so now I'm on the other side of the street, and this dude is on the phone from it. I have never seen a more cowardly display as I just saw by this guy in the cape and this guy on the phone. They called YouTube, they called the cops, they called their, their um, who's the big daddy, um, their, their head leader, leader. Oh, Nathaniel. Yeah, yeah, yeah called, the, called the head leader guy. I mean, my goodness, you're running out of people to call.